Hi, I'm Jeremy Alstead with Local Splash, America's leading local SEO service provider. Today I'm going to give you some advice on how to manage your local business's online reviews. Basically, how to minimize the effects of negative reviews and how to gain more positive reviews. Let's start by briefly talking about a major problem many local businesses across America are facing today. Negative reviews. Negative reviews are one of a local business owner's worst fears these days. Many local businesses are afraid of trying to increase their online exposure because it will make them more vulnerable to negative reviews. And some even want to get rid of their current online presence because they already have some negative reviews out there. In fact, I've talked with many business owners that go as far as believing there's a conspiracy in the online community or among their competitors to put them out of business with negative reviews on sites like Google and Yelp. Let me reassure you this is most likely not the case. The fact of the matter is customers that have bad experiences are much more likely to leave a bad review than a customer that had a good experience. Think about it. A good experience is what someone expects when they are paying money for a product or service. A good experience is the expectation. Only when you go above and beyond the expectation should you hope for a positive review. If you ever fail to meet expectations, you should expect to receive a negative review. From here on out, this needs to be your mindset as a business owner. With that established, let me give you some insight on how you can minimize bad reviews and how you can gain more positive reviews. The first problem I want to address is how does a local business owner get rid of negative reviews? The bad news is you can't really get rid of them. The good news is you can make them obsolete. Now let's check out a real life example. I've gone to Google and I'm going to search for Newport Beach Martial Arts. On the first page of search results, there's a business called Dave's Kung Fu Dojo. You can see on the first page of results, it's getting about two and a half stars out of five for its review. That's not so hot for a business owner. Let's take a little deeper look at where these reviews are coming from. So now I'm looking at Dave's Kung Fu Dojo's Google Places page. Towards the bottom, we can see where all the reviews are coming from. The top three reviews are all one out of five stars. No business would want one out of five stars to represent the type of service or product that they provide. So how can Dave's Kung Fu Dojo overcome these negative reviews? The best answer is they can push those reviews down and make them obsolete. So in this situation, what I would do is advise Dave's Kung Fu Dojo to start encouraging their happy customers to leave them reviews, particularly on Google. Now let's pretend like we've wound the clock forward in time and Dave's Kung Fu Dojo has encouraged many of their happy customers to leave reviews. Let's come back and take a look at what their Google Places reviews look like, especially on their Google Places page. Okay, so I'm back at Google, and I'm going to search for Newport Beach Martial Arts. On the first page of search results, we see Dave's Kung Fu Dojo. The dojo now has 13 reviews and an overall rating of about 4 out of 5 stars. That's pretty good for a business. If I'm a potential customer, I might go ahead and call Dave's Kung Fu Dojo right now. But I'm going to look a little deeper at where the reviews are coming from. I go to his Google Places page, and I'm going to scroll down, and I see the five latest reviews. I see four stars, five stars, five stars, four stars, and five stars. This is building a lot of trust with me as a potential customer. I now think that Dave's Kung Fu Dojo is a very credible Kung Fu Dojo, and a great place to learn martial arts. Most importantly, I don't see any negative reviews, specifically those three one-star reviews that we saw beforehand. At this point, those three one-star reviews are playing absolutely no role in my decision-making process to use Dave's Kung Fu Dojo. I think this would be a fantastic place to learn Kung Fu. If I'm a local business owner and I'm watching this video, I would probably say to myself, I can't just make positive reviews appear out of thin air. How am I supposed to get all these glowing reviews about my business online? Well, I've prepared two very simple methods for you. They're very effective for any type of local business across America. The key to both of these methods is offering something of value in return to the customer. The first method involves making a business card that has very simple instructions on how to leave your business an online review on the back of the business card. I have here a business card from Dave's Kung Fu Dojo. On the back of the card, you can see the first thing that's on there. It says, leave us an online review and receive 15% off your next visit. That's pretty compelling. 
And then following the value proposition are three simple steps on how to find Dave's Kung Fu Dojo on the internet and then how to leave the review itself. A simple tool like this can be very effective. And remember, as you're handing these cards out to your happy customers, remind them about the review offer on the back. A simple program like this will generate a lot of reviews in a relatively short period of time. The second method is a simple email sign-up sheet. Again, I have an example of what Dave's Kung Fu Dojo uses. You can see at the top it says sign up to receive a 15% off coupon and other seasonal promotions. So they simply collect the client's name and their email address and then they send them an email. It will include the 15% off coupon and it will also include a few simple instructions on how to leave them a positive review online. You can go as far as to leave your link straight to your Google Places page so the client will just have to click that link out of the email be directed to your Google Places page, and right there they can leave you a positive review. Both of these methods are extremely low cost and highly effective. I have one last piece of advice for you. Before you start trying to instruct your customers on how to leave you positive reviews, go to these sites and get familiar with the review process. Go to Google and leave a, leave a positive review for a business that you like. Learn that process like the back of your hand so you'll be able to easily instruct your customers on how to do it if they ask for more information. The last thing you want is a customer that's willing to leave you a positive review and you can't instruct them how to do it. I hope you found this information helpful. We talked about how local businesses can manage their online reviews. Basically how they can minimize the effects of negative reviews and how they can gain more positive reviews. Again, my name is Jeremy Osted and I'm the marketing manager at Local Splash. You can find out some more information at localsplash.com or give us a call at 877-635-6225.